Just a quick addition to this video, this is also known as a Pioneer POS Stealth Touch M5 with the part number TAE hyphen GM two X Q Q hyphen one two. So a company called Pioneer POS sell this and uh, I guess as well as being branded mission uh, retail systems or whatever this one is, it can also be branded many other things. Hello, today you join me in a uh, experiment in opening up this Mission Integrated Systems Till system. So um, the symptom or the problem with this is it just stopped turning on one day. So I've already taken one panel off of this while I was on site to see whether I could fix it without taking it away. So I already know how to open up at least one part of it but the rest of this will be a total experiment and I'll probably mess it up massively so I want to show you what happens when you try to use this so the panel that we want to take off initially if you ever come across one of these is this back panel where the wires go in. You'd normally have the power lead going in there, network cable if you have one, and this one has a USB cable going to the receipt printer. So there are two screws at the back here, there and there. Then quite forcefully pull up and then it unclips there. And uh, this thing is a was a biohazard when I brought it back here. Had so much beer and other gunk just caked over the whole thing, it was disgusting. So I've cleaned quite a lot of it. So, what I wasn't expecting, and I'm glad it has, is uh, almost like a laptop or a modular power supply. So under this metal bracket here, which actually has four screw points but only two are screwed in on, on this thing, So should be able to remove that metal bracket. There we go. We have we'll get these out of the way. That's the network cable and the USB. And down here, a modular laptop style or all-in-one computer style power brick, which makes things very convenient and easy to uh, replace. And then also coming out of here, apparently serial ATA data lead and a wow <laughs> full of corrosion a uh, serial ATA power and that may even be part of the issue on that and it's also got corrosion at the back there but right before I try and do any of that which might potentially fix it I want to show you what it does Find me a power lead. And plug this in. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it because the light's fairly dim. But there's a power light there. I plug that in. Goes blue, fades out, goes blue, fades out, goes blue. So uh, normally I see that with laptop power supplies where the thing has been flexed so much that it's got a short circuit or a short inside the cable um, this shouldn't really have been moved about so there's a short somewhere else so the next thing is to try and get to the connections here where the power and all these plug in so I'm going to start with there's two screws either side here which go into the metal mounting bracket 
probably a good start. This is where I'm going to. Hello, cat. This is where I'm going to lose track of which screws go where. those two screws or are there more? It looks like accessible to me those are the only two screws so does it slide? Yeah there we go. So that's uh, two screws on the edge, and then it slides. Let's see if I can slide it back so I can have it on a on an angle when I do this. So lift it up and tilt it forward. Let's move those back over this way. further out now. This is where I run out Whoa. this is where I run out of space on my desk. Knock over iPhones and all sorts of stuff and then trip over cables. Let's try moving that forward and then tilting that. Good. For some reason I can hear something rattling around inside this. So I don't know whether that's part of the problem. So let's try see if I can remove that bracket. No, oh, there actually is one screw down there as well. Gonna be a pain to get to. Oh, I can smell the beer coming off of this again. So it actually looks like a pretty standard computer. And we've got uh, I'm going to unplug some of the stuff that I know isn't needed for the moment. So we've got the network cable. That can go. We've got the USB cable for the receipt printer. That can go. We've got the external um, SATA data cable. We've got a USB off to the mag magnetic card reader. We've got power going off to what would be uh, the serial ATA, in fact what I'm going to do, they're not going to use it, or I haven't ever used an external serial ATA um, drive, so I may as well just remove this connector for ease of repair and tidiness. So I mean all that wiring loom, which potentially could go wrong anyway, isn't required. Uh, so, got Molex connector coming out there, and then the bit I'm interested in, that's the main power in from that. So, I want to know if I plug this in, without the rest of the computer plugged in, does it suffer from the same problem? Yes. So I can hear, which you probably can't hear on the video, a little tick noise every time the light is pulsing. So there's something wrong within this, which doesn't particularly surprise me. Um, which is, in some ways, really good, because it's going to be quite simple to get a replacement one of these. So it's an FSP group, which I've come across before. 
I think I've seen it on some other all-in-one computers. So it should be a fairly standard one. The only thing that's slightly unusual is this uh, four-pin connector. 24 volts, 6.25 amp output. And hopefully, if I replace this, I'll have a working till system again. And they won't have to um, buy a new one, because this one, uh, for some reason, wasn't covered under any support agreement. So uh, that's why I got called to come and have a look at it. So this next part of the video is me uh, basically unpacking a new power supply which I'd ordered, checking the polarity and voltage is correct, and then connecting it to the computer, uh, or the, the till, making sure that it turns on, and then uh, we're all done. And then I basically just reassemble the thing, take it back, and great success. So not sure whether this video is any particular of any interest to anyone, but I... Uh, easy enough to film while repairing something so if it has been useful uh, be nice to know and certainly if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would be a real help to me thank you very much